the, the question is this. It's my impression that Alex's optimized settings used to maximize performance while staying roughly visually equivalent to max settings, often touting some big performance gains alongside minimal loss in fidelity. But with these last few videos, it's been more about tuning the game to mid to low end cards and visual compromises are made more readily. Claims of maintained fidelity are largely absent. My question is, was it your approach but all the games that changed. Did you always target this tier of cards with compromises simply being unnecessary for cross-gen releases? Or has your target changed, making such compromises inevitable? Alex. Well, I think if you look at what um, the last couple of releases have been about, um, where that's been more explicit is they're games that offer very high-end options. Mm -hmm. um, so if you look at Alan Wake versus, uh, I mean, just look at Alan Wake. Like uh, for that, I targeted, I did show a 3070 and a, I think after the fact, I did a 2070 Super, maybe in the video too, I showed it briefly running at those settings. Um, <clears throat> and there I was saying like, no, we're not going, you can't approach max settings in this game visually. It's just not possible. This path tracing. Um, so you get what you you get the best as you can. And I think that's a little bit the gen moving on. I also think it is a little bit, um, you know, the type of game, like if a game has path tracing, you are not going to approach max settings at all with optimized settings. Uh, there's too big of a gulf. So you got to try and get the best you can possibly get without the max look. Uh, and that's what consoles do. Uh, some of this does have to do with the way the, the GPU market is right now. Uh, like the current most popular GPUs are around that like 3060 level. And if new games are coming out and they're also coming out on console, I think it's a really good idea to give people an understanding of what the console experience is like and if they can try and get it or best it on their GPU hardware. It also gives people a great sense of whether or not the game is optimized. We know over a course of a uh, number of titles how, where these console versions tend to lie on, in the spread of PC GPUs. And if a game is an, a, a massive outlier in one direction or the other, it's really good to be able to point it out. So for now, my uh, as long as like the most recent releases, yes, I would say I have been targeting a slightly lower end experience as of late. Uh, but it's mainly due to the type of games and also where we are in the current space of this generation. It may change when I upgrade my GPUs very in the in the near future in that PC. Because right, I've been doing the 2070 Super for so long, 2060 Super for so long. Uh, what happens if I go up to a 4060 or a 3060? Is it going to be very different? We shall see. Yeah, I think I'm moving to 3060 and 4060 is actually a really good idea. Um, simply because, well, first of all, the 30 series is so popular i mean yes. top of the steam hardware survey um, but it does have 12 gigs of memory 4060 is going to be you know whether we like it or not it's going to be the the, the next class class of cards to follow the 3060 it's just inevitable really um, based on on the way the market has behaved and mm -hmm. then we have the eight gigabyte limitation but we have the extra features um yeah i would expect the 3060 to be pretty much up there with your 2070 super um yes so but you know it would be more relevant to the audience to actually feature a card that a lot of people have they've you know 2070 super not so many people have it by by comparison the other thing i think we should be bear in mind is the whole nature of the games themselves is that like it or not PlayStation 5 is the de facto target platform these days, and that's where the developers are basically going to be looking for the best bang for the buck. So producing um, optimized settings based on that class of hardware kind of makes sense, I think. It's, unless the developer is doing a really bad job profiling their game, <laughs> it's going to yeah. be better than what I could arguably do in the course of a video, because they're taking months to to you yeah. know, get these things and I think down. to be fair, when you did the Alan Wake 2 RT video, you did have optimized settings for path tracing, right? Yeah, I did. I did yeah. throw, I said like, you're going to do 60 if you do the shadows. And if you turn on anything else, it's a 30 FPS targeting experience on that class of GPU, which I considered PT capable, which was the 3080. Um, and then the 4070 was actually a lot better. So that mm -hmm. was an interesting case. Yeah. So like when I started working at DF, it was towards the 
middle-ish tail end of the Xbox One generation. Yeah. And at that point in time, the mid-spec cards that were out were such 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 a big upgrade over what you could get on console and especially yes. CPU wise that like it ended up that optimized settings ended up being usually just like a little bit of a tier below the ultra setting. And then now it's changed because there's been so many introductions to the graphics market and a new generation of consoles has started. So it is, it's not philosophical. It's, it's not something crazy. It's just the market's <laughs> evolving. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Alex being philosophical. Can't Never. have that. <laughs> no.